To a late start tonight so get a little streaming problem with conan is that once you start wandering half across the map uh then you gotta get all the way home unless i sign off and use magic little code words to get me moved across the map It'll be interesting i lost all my goodies i have no stuff luckily i'm at my home where I can probably craft a few things real quick. Uh, but I'm not going to probably take the time to make my clothes and all that. Just grab some food. I got to make a water skin. All the fun stuff that you uh, end up having to do when you die. Especially when you die in the depths of hell uh, like we did. And I was not able to retrieve my stuff. It is the one thing. There's that arc mod or whatever. that I mean, it's kind of a cheat in a sense. But uh, with the little satellite thing. Uh, you know, that, uh, get distracted, you know, where we could, uh, you know, just get our stuff back with a push with that, with a switch or whatever, which is, a. Uh, you know, it, it's nice having that. So you don't have that, but it does take away the risk, the risk reward of exploring and having to get your stuff again so um i mean technically we're kind of we're not doing strict rp here so i could have gotten my stuff without uh any other means you know using admin or anything but we didn't do that which is good and um so bar i'll just uh deal with the beast that ate his stuff so I know winter is around. I think winter is on the trek back. Probably could actually. I don't know how to poof people even though I have the power. Damn you, Hustler. Johnny Hustler gives me the power and then I don't know how to uh, to do it. I probably could figure it out. But let's get in the bar for a little bit. We'll see if um, winter, he interacts with winter at all. Um... And, you know, go from there. At some point, you know, we'll do bar probably in Fallen Exiles where I can interact with, you know, a bunch of people on the server and bar will have many people to deal with. It really changes the dynamic for me. Because as bar, uh, you know, I'm, I'm loving interacting with uh, Winter and everything. I'm really dependent and I think Winter's coming to me, fortunately. Bar is real. My bar character is really dependent on others to interact. So, because I'm not, I really don't build. I really don't craft. I mean, I can, and it's RP light, so I can kind of do things that I might not do necessarily as character. But, you know, um, his is more just a helpless person that people help or, you know, that people tolerate, whatever. Uh, and um, so it's cha it's challenging for me to be in Conan without that. Luckily, I know I know Tracy's out, out there as Winter, so that helps. But, you know, when when I don't have her or, or Johnny or Rab or anybody, it really, you know, makes it challenging for me to be bar. Because then I'm not really being bar then. His bar wouldn't do anything. He might get lost looking for animals. That's probably something we would do. His bar maybe. But let's see how it goes. Let's push the right buttons. How about that on that stream deck? We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. 
We're going, we're going, we're going. He is slumbering. Hello, Winter Snow. I'm happy to see you. I hear voices. Hmm. <gasps> my horn is speaking like winter. Winter, are you in my horn? I do not see her in my horn. She is not in there. I do not understand. Oh, winter! Winter! Let me give us a different voice! This one! This is much better! The other one sounds like I'm on some type of telephone! Well, I'm downstairs and I can't get up there! I'm coming! Hello. Hi. I do not know what was wrong with my voice, but it sounded like I was on a phone. Whatever that would be. It's okay. I can still hear you, kind of. <laughs> yes. I mean. It wasn't this. And it wasn't this. But it was this. I have some good news and some bad news. Yes, you found the beast with my clothes. Let me stop echoing and yelling at you. You found the beast with my clothes? I found the beast, but I also found this. It was wearing my clothes. Hmm. That is a lovely piece of dirt that you brought back. This was all I found. Oh, no. That is my underwear with my name on it so I would not lose it. I'm Rega sorry, Bar. Yes, I tried. We're gone. We're gone. He, he placed all of my, my names in my underwear so he would not put them on by mistake. Very wise. Yes. I have nothing. I just I... wish I had found the whole outfit. I'm sorry. Oh, it is sad. It is okay. But I cannot. I have to keep my pants on. I do not have my hat to not sunburn my buttocks or my front. No. Oh. I'm afraid uh, if I so... jump. If you look, there is a stitch in my pants. I do not know if it is going to stay. They look very, very loose on those stitches. Well, they look okay for now. Just be careful. I am always careful. Winter snow was making sure I was safe while I slept. Last night. And winter snow was watching over you very, very well. Yes. Yes. I must get some food around. Would you like to come upstairs? That sounds wonderful. Actually, is Regan around? I have some stuff for him. Oh, Regan is slumbering. Every time he slumbers while I hear him. All I hear is stop bar. I do not know why he sleeps like that. Well, maybe I'll leave him a open box with all the stuff that I found on the outing because I made it to where we were a few nights ago oh. and beyond. Oh, to the depths of hell, that fun place. The depths of hell, thankfully, were not happening. It was much like it was right before we got there. Nice, peaceful, and quiet. Oh no, I just thought of something. What's that? Oh. I have lost the honey you gave me. It is gone. I have more at home. The beast it's ate okay. the honey. That is maybe why the beast ate my clothes is because of the honey. Maybe, but I have more. Plus, I have something for you at my house. <gasps> Let me grab some food real quick. Come on, upstairs. You can watch Regan grumble as well. 
I'll pro Are you ready? Do you know how to work these things? Watch. Up. As ready as I can be. <laughs> yes. You have to tell it. Here, let me let me get Maybe the door. Maybe that was my problem yesterday. Yes, you need to talk to it. Oh, goodbye. Hello. I shall open the door this time. Oh, no, do not tell me. Okay, you can come off elevator. Good. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's right. And the food is not over here. Are you hungry? Do you need food? Are you okay? I have my berries, but thank you. Uh, shift, we gotta do. That's what we wanted. Let's just do 50 of these bad boys. Oh, no, I do not have a water skin or anything. I do. How can I? I cannot go on journeys. Where is it? Oh, Regan left me a sword. I do not know if he left me a, a water skin. Hmm. I shall check over here. Hmm, one would think that somebody would put hide in the tannery, but they did not. I know he was working with the hide last night. Yes, he um, worked with plenty of it. He did not leave any. It is okay. I found some. This is what happens when I let him do things. Well, I may need to head downstairs to chop down a tree quickly because in all my outing today, I barely ended up with any wood and I'm not going to be able to make the box to hold all the stuff I have for Ragon. Oh, I can let you downstairs. I will not make any comments on wood as you stared at the wood and look like you were marveling at the wood, but I do not say those things. Here, we can go down. I will make it downstairs. Are you ready? Ready. Down. Down? Yes, yeah, see? It works. Yes. I will wake my hide. I will be right here. Chop the wood. Be careful. It is dangerous. Water skin. Oh, we need... We forgot twine. Damn, damn it, jammer. <clears throat> we need the twine. Okay. Oh, wow. I am, um, you think that I've done this stuff, like, you know, tons of times. Why am I not finding? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's why. It's my first day playing Conan, apparently. Got the wood I needed. Are you ready to go? Would you like to go back up? Yes, please. Okay, I am coming. I am ready. Yes, these things work much better when you stand on them. Up. Yes, well, after yesterday, I'm just a little bit hesitant. They are very tricky things, but they are magical. I think that is why. The treehouse wasn't playing nice with my mind last night, so I kind of got stuck in place. Ah, oh, Ragan was using magical tricks and being mean to you. Typically when something I wouldn't like necessarily say magical tricks, it's just my eyes were keeping me in place. 
and then apparently he saw me instead of me walking he saw me sliding so oh sliding sounds like fun i got away from here mm. sliding can be fun just not when you're trying to move around i am a little concerned Ragon has glowing eyes and now magic trips where you are not walking and you are only sliding around and it is near this home perhaps he has cursed this home I must destroy this home. I think you are safe. Are you sure? It might have been the combination of his glowing eyes plus my glowing jewelry I had yesterday. I mean, we can destroy this place right now. I'm sure Ragan will know that it was for him to be safe. No, we'll, we'll leave the place. Worst comes to worst, a new place can be built. I'm but a mess. I can sort yes. through my pockets yes. now that I have a box so I can just leave it right here. And I have a feeling he'll know who it's from because, well, I was hanging out in this corner last night watching the swirling mass while he was working on things. Yes, sure. You may do whatever you would like. I will leave all the double on try day alone and walk away. I do not know what that word means, actually. Um, what do I want to, uh, you know what? I must make new tools. I'm in the front way out. This is like I've never played the damn game before. What, what planet am I on right now? It is if I've never played this game and I've never been here before. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm hitting buttons. I do not know. I'm pushing things. I'm saying buttons. Wow. I'm like having a mental make breakdown here. But sadly, it turns out it looks like I can't leave my gift up here. Oh, oh, you know, I might, maybe I need to build the box and then you may, hmm. You may have to give it to me and then I could put it in there. We might have to do that. That could work. Yes. I know I still have materials for a few more boxes. Yes, if you want to drop, and then I will pick it up, and then you can drop and pick it up, and drop and pick it up, and I'll drop and pick it up, and 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 then I'll put it all in a box, and then I will put it in there, and then I will tell Regan that there is a magical box here, but he must not open it. He must not open it until he says the magic words. What are the magic words? Okay, you will stare at the box. Are we putting wood in this magical box? Ah, uh, it's fine. No, this is so you can help make the box, and then if you leave it unlocked, I should be able to fill it. Oh, yes, that is much better than me picking it up and put you dropping it, and me picking it up and put it in the box, and then you drop it, and I put it in the box, and then you drop it, I pick it up and put it in the box, and then you drop it, and I pick it back and put it in the box, and then we close the box and we lock it, and then we do not know what the magic password is, and then it'll never open again, and Regan will never get his presents. All right. Hmm. Thank you, my friend. Well, you are welcome. I think it is unlocked and you can have it. Hold on. Let me do. Let me look at one thing. I think Ragan will be happy with what he ends up finding in here. Well, let me try something again. There! I have carved your name on this. What the hell? We don't have any 
bars or what? Where? Oh, there's already some in it. Oh, hello. Hello, chat. This is my first time ever playing, apparently. Good lord. Uh, there we go. I really don't use a skinning knife. Oh, let's put this in here. That needs to be repaired. Eesh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, it's fixed. Boom, boom. I will not look in this box. This is Ragan's box. It's okay for you to look in there, too, because what's going to be in there will be used for the good of hopefully all of us. Oh, I do many good things. I'm very helpful. And you make me smile, which is the best thing of all. It is very easy. You just take your lips and spread them out and your cheeks will rise. Some days it's hard to smile, hmm. so finding someone who can make you smile is a gift in itself. They do not teach you these things. My goodness. I was told I learned how to do these things and then I was told I should not. I should not smile because we should be warriors in my family. That was before they told me to leave. Warrior families need to smile. They did not like it. And then they told me to leave. And I did not smile for quite some time. But then I found Ragan and Alita. And I protected them. So I smiled. And then Ghani. Well, thank that makes me smile too. Yes. And I found Ghani. But then we lost Ghani. And when I could not find Ghani, I was very sad. And I was not smiling. And I ran around. I could not find Ghani. And Ghani was nowhere. And we were all looking for Ghani. And I was yelling, Ghani! Ghani! And we could not find her, and it was very sad, and then I could not find her, and we were looking around and looking around, and then eventually she came back and I smiled. Now she has turned into a bird. Well, I'm glad you found a reason to be able to smile again. Yes. And I smile when I get honey, and I got winter bear makes me smile. You have made me smile as well. Well, I know at some point I do need to head back to my house to drop off and empty out my pockets. And as I said, I do have something there for you. Yes, I will come with you. I'm trying to figure out where the heck all of our clothing stuff is. But I can go like this. <laughs> I do not know where anything well, I'm sure is. you'll find it. Yes, I mean, we're gone. I, this is what happens when I slumber. We're gone is just terrible. He just does things and rah, 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 rah. Do this. Rah, 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 rah. He does, he does much better when I am here to watch him. Are you ready to go? I will go now. Well, if you want to try and find things to be able to make clothes, we can definitely do that as well. I can wait. I have time. Hmm. I do not know. My only worry with this is if I'm running and you hear a <laughs> and then I do not have pants. And when I do not have pants, I am not wearing my hat. And then without my hat, I might be sunburning my front and my back and my buttocks will be burnt. And then when I run, it will hurt. And then I will be crying because of the pain. So let's find what you need for an outfit at mm. that time. Yeah, in I my will. eyes, it's still very early. Ah. It is never early in my eyes. Tomorrow, I have terrible dreams of having to meet with various parents of children to discuss how they are. Oh, no. Yes, it is, it is not a good dream. And Saturday as well, if there was a such thing as a Saturday. I have bad dreams of tomorrow myself of having to cover other people's shifts because we have multiple people out, which means I have to answer more phone calls and get more cases. And ah. Well, you sound like this when you're doing that. See? It'll be more like, thank you for calling. How can I help you today? Well, that sounds very friendly. I feel like I need help all of a sudden. 
was... I try to be helpful, just unfortunately, yeah, <laughs> some of those bad dreams turn yes. into nightmares. Yes, I understand. Quickly. I do understand. But all of a sudden, I felt relieved that somebody was there to help me. Well, I know in my dreams, I try to be as helpful as I can to the point I have people trying to reach out to me when I'm not even supposed to be helping them. Hmm, that happens often with me. Regana's always needing my help. Let's find you some clothing, sir. Yeah. Regan, wake up! Where are my clothes? I do not know. He has built this entire structure over there, and there is nothing there. I do not know what he is doing. I know he was talking last night about taking down the awnings and doing something completely different. He just doesn't know what. Yes, it is very clear. He needs my direction. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Not there. It's not there. How am I not seeing an armorer's bench? See that vanity so he can make himself look pretty. Seriously, where the hell is it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. He's put in the very convenient spot under the stairs hidden away so nobody can find it. It's very smart of him to do that. Because if people come and try and steal our things, the first thing they're going to do, of course, is go there and not steal any of the valuable things besides that are right here in the open. They're going to steal the tailored things. All righty. Uh, do we have this? Oh, I should. Should I? Should I? Oh, that's the stuff I think I wore before. And what the hell I wore is bar. I don't feel like making the padding and all that right now. Oh, this is the stuff. Where the hell? Yeah, this was a skirt I wore. See, then you gotta make this crap. All right, let's just do this real quick. I gotta get a drink. <gasps> I can't. I cannot move. It, it's, uh, uh, winter. I do not know. I do not know how he breathes in this. This is very tight. It looks it. I cannot. I must get other clothes. I do not know how he does this. I think it is because he has a little dinghy. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta take it off. I gotta get a drink of water soon. Uh, da -da. See, now you gotta make up. This is the thing with this stuff, man. I mean, I know it's the crafting part of it, but it's like, then I gotta make the stupid padding. And then I gotta. What did I wear? Oh, that's pretty funny for a bar to wear that. Where the hell's the hat I was wearing? Ah, uh, there it is. Craft that. Uh, I think we did this, so what do we need? Light legging. This one, right? Oh, man. 
I, I seriously all of a sudden I've forgotten how to play this game. Okay, let's get that. Of course, what I want is at the very bottom. Okay. Oh, why is it? Craft. Um. Then I just craft this. There we go. Then we just need the shirt. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jammer. Oh, I saw a message from Ro Rooster wants me to get that ghost game. I think I might have to do it. Was it this that I was wearing? I don't want to be a warlord. Oh, this isn't bad, though. Ah, uh, that iron bars. I don't feel like it. I want to be lazy right now. Let's get this light chest padding. Okay. Hopefully I'm not going to... What? The, what the blue hell? Oh, light chest padding. Isn't that what I just made? All right. Yeah, I wasn't wearing that pirate gear. I had fun with it, though. Oh, whoops. Don't need that. I found my clothes. There's the bar we all know and Yes. Love. Now he will not get sunburnt. Always a good thing. Yes. I must grab a drink of water on our way. Are you ready to go? Ready when you are. Yes, I will protect you. Yes, be wary of that door. It is dangerous. Down. Down. Yeah, see, it works. I must get a drink. Be careful. There are Ghani birds down here. Maybe we get the Phasmo, or whatever the hell the name of it is. And uh, we do that. That'd be fun to do a rooster. Problem is when I do a rooster, I'm gonna RP some character. Get that drink. There we go. Let's fill this bad boy up. All right. I am good. Glad to hear that. Oh, shh. There is a dog sleeping right here. Be careful. I'll be very careful. Let us go to your home. I do not know whose fire this is. Oh, it's about time he did something productive. Oh, there's another doggy. Oh, that is not a doggy. If it is a doggy, it's a very white. weird doggy. I've never seen a doggy with horns. 
Perhaps it was ready to make babies. I do hope you're well rested after our adventures plus yesterday. Oh yes. It was fun. Nothing beats being in a storm full of fire. It was safe. I protected everyone. Well, as safe as the flaming uh, pits of hell can be. I did not get lost. Yeah, it's a long run when you're going by yourself and have no one to talk to. Yes. That is why Regan likes my company. That way I can continue to talk to him nonstop. That is what he prefers. I have a. This is almost like what happened when we were in the depths of hell. I believe the weather is going to change. At least we're much safer here and the skies should not turn red. I hope that beast ate all that honey and now is unable to move. And I will find it one day and slay it. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I get the ghost game? I mean, geez, everybody's playing it. It's like $13. Are you lost? Do you know where your home is? I know where my home is. It's oh, just I good. stumbled over a few rocks. Oh, yes. Be careful. There are rocks there. You're welcome. Is it better to go up this way or underneath? For your surprise, this way. Yes. Oh, a doggy! Go to sleep, doggy. Bad puppies. Yes, yeah, they are sleeping. Look, it is a home! It's my home. I have found your home! I told you I would not make you lost. I bet you you know where all your things are. Mostly. <laughs> yes. But come over to my pets. Yes. Are they protecting you? They are resting more than anything for now. Hmm. Can you see what are in the two pins on the right? Yes, let me look. Right, that's this way, I think. Uh, it looks like a bunch of broken boats. Hmm. Can you see what's in front of me? In front of you? I see a bear. What do you see next to the bear? That's a kitty cat. That's a camel. I do not know what is this animal. They're the doggies. It's it, a puppy. It's a doggy. It's two doggies I have. They are twins. 
And you know what that means if I have the two doggies? That means that if they make babies, there'll be four. I was thinking more that along with winter snow that you should have a doggy. Oh, <gasps> that would be a good idea. I will take good care of the doggy, I promise. I will make sure that it's there and it can lick Regan to wake it up all the time. So when Regan needs to be woken up, I will tell the doggy to lick it, to lick its face. And Regan will just be licked, lick, lick, lick. And then Regan will wake up all happy and he'll be happy and in a good mood. That's a brilliant idea. Let's go over to my where my work area is, and I'll give you the puppy there. Thank you. Yes, and and just when you pick one out, make sure it's the very slobbery one because we're gone with like a slobbery dog guest, I'm sure. They both look pretty slobbery to me. I do not know if Osho approves of this right here. This is a wondrous gift. Thank you so much, Winter. Thanks. You are quite welcome. You've been so kind to me. It's just a small way of me saying thank you. I would love to thank you too, but sometimes it takes me quite some time to think of how to hug. Thank you. I do not know how this is a conversation. I think it is hugging. Oh, it is most definitely hugging, but hugging can be a good part of a conversation too. Oh, like, there, there, Regan, it is okay. One day you will be purple again. It's probably a good thing I didn't leave something else I found in my travels in that box. Hmm. Was it purple? Was it a grape? <gasps> it was a potion. Perhaps if he starts eating grapes and berries, he will turn purple back to his normal color. Well, in that respect, then I should be blue with all the berries I eat. But why would you be sad? But yeah, I found a potion. You think those pants were tight when you were wearing them? Yes. They would become then very tight on Regan as well after he took that potion. Hmm. I do not know why we're gone as wearing that. It did not feel comfortable to me. When I first put them on, my voice went like this! And then I had to pull them down a little, and then I was okay. Different people like wearing different things. Yes, I guess he is into that thing. That is all I can figure. Yeah, luckily these pants aren't too tight, but I definitely can feel them at some points. And I'm just like, why did I pick these out? Yeah, see, I'm very airy in my pants. See, if I want airy, I have my other outfit that you saw a few days ago. Hmm. And that's also very comfortable to wear. Yes. This one, see, and I can also, like, when I gather... See how the pants come out like that? I can, like, put, like, food and stuff and store many things in my pants. That's a smart way to do it sometimes. Yes, that's why I'm a good gatherer. See, we're gone. What can he fit in his pockets? Not much. Yes, I do not know where he's storing everything when he's wearing those clothes. I will ask him. Well, everyone's got to have their secrets, and that might just be his. Yes. 
Did anybody ever come to that home where the torches are? No one lives there, but I do try and go up there every day because someone ends up leaving things in a chest up there. Yeah, that's very mysterious. Perhaps it is Santa Claus. Your name is what? <gasps> Your name is Winter. Somebody keeps leaving you gifts. It must be Santa. May very well be. Hmm. I wonder if there's a December that lives between you, the box, and the other side. Then it'd be winter, December, and then the middle would be yes. It all makes sense. Well, someone keeps leaving dyes and a lot of alcohol in the chest near your place. I do not. I have not had any of that. Perhaps that's why we're kind of slumbering. Oh, I usually try and stop by there daily as well and grab what there is to drink just to store here for if I have company. That was a good idea. I do not know where Ta Captain Tallywhacker went. I did not see him. Perhaps her. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I think Regan might have eaten his legs. Maybe Regan ate the rest of Mr. Captain Tallywhacker, the pirate. Or possibly he found a more comfortable place to sleep because floors do get uncomfortable. You don't think that Mr. Tallywhacker pirate's gone and now Regan is going to eat my bear and my doggy? He's not going to eat them, is he? I don't think he will. I think he'll be okay. I will make sure that they both know the watch. Keep an eye on him. He wants to let one of my bears out of my house. Well, that wasn't very nice. No, oh, he said the bear was sick and the bear had to go. And then I ran away from home because I was looking for the bear. And I could not find the bear. And it was gone. And then he found me and I was not feeling well. And I built a mighty mansion. But I was laying in and I did not feel well. And Regan had me come home. That bear, he says, watches upon, upon me all the time still. He says, look up. When I look up, I do not see the bear. But he says it is watching. Well, I have a memory of a few sweet little kitty cats who are watching over me, so I know that your bear is watching over you. Mm, I hope the bear does not step on the kitty cats. The bear was quite big. I had a gorilla, and I had a saber tooth, and I had horses, and and I had an alligator. Did I have an alligator? I think I had a tiny alligator. Yes, I think. I had so many animals, it was hard to remember. The gorilla's butt smelled really bad. I can tell you that. Well, hopefully that's a smell I never have to encounter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Gorilla butt in a home is not a nice smell. I would discuss with him about these things. And then he would just scratch his butt like right in front of me. Like it was some game. But I knew he meant well. well that wasn't very polite. Eh, he was just having fun, I believe. He was my friend. So, you're not the only... So, besides that box I left, I found a few other gifts that I think are going to have to wait until our friends come back around. Who knows where we're gone. The days are coming where he will slumber for many days. He dreams of sitting in a garage and drinking himself. With friends. Sounds like a lovely dream. Yes. It saddens me, though. I am like, we're gone! Wake up! I'm ready to play! And he just mumbles something about drinking something called beer in a garage. In the middle of nowhere, in some state in the middle of nowhere. I do not understand what he means. It sounds like a wasteland. Well, I find myself here quite often alone, so... That's okay. 
I have gathered and have picked up many, many things and explored many different places now. And I still have much, much more to explore. Yes. You you know this land very well. Morgan gets lost just going from our home to yours. I wouldn't say I know it quite well, but I've definitely found at least a few things, including another new vault today. Oh, <gasps> another land. Did you go in? I did. Was it dangerous? A wee bit. Um, I'd say about on par with the bats that we encountered. Oh, yes. And their leader was no problem at all. That was quite fun. They had a big party with a bunch of fruit punch on the floor in the back cave. Yes, well, these gremlins, I guess we can call them. Mm. They were not soft and cute and furry, and we don't have to worry about them encountering water or food. But these little gremlins, they... Some explorers came before me, and they did not play well with those explorers. So I had to fight hard to keep myself safe to make sure I could come back and see my friends. Perhaps those explorers did not use the magic words. Maybe they did not say hi. And now they are now angry when they see people because those people did not speak to them properly. And if they had just said hi, we are here to be your friends, everything would have been fine and then these things would not have attacked you. But now they see you and they think, oh my goodness, here comes another person to hurt us. When you would not hurt them if they did not go to hurt you, you would be very nice to them. But it is too late because these other people did it. I wonder if they heard Ding Dong Avon calling far too many times. Well, that could be. That would be quite annoying. You were not wearing a white shirt and a tie, were you? I was not. I was dressed as I am right now. No, oh, then I do not understand. Somebody must have angered them. Everybody here is very friendly, as long as you are friendly to them. And that is why I'm thankful that I have met you and Regana and Gooch, just because you are all quite friendly and amazing folks. And then our pirate friend I met but briefly, but he seemed like he was a good person too. Yes, he drinks a lot. He is passed out somewhere, I'm sure. Probably crying over losing his legs. How far away was this well, as land? Long as, he's not crying over as long as he's not crying over spilt milk, we're good. Uh, it would be spilled rum he would be crying about. He likes rum. Was this cave that you went to far away? The vault was past where we made the turn towards the fiery flames and pits of hell. It was actually beyond that. Oh, so... You know, beyond the eight-hour walk we took to go into the fiery depths of hell. Yes, I took a 12-hour walk. Yes, that sounds like fun. But sadly, I was all alone with no one to talk to. Yes, that makes it very tough. That is when I start thinking of animals, and I start thinking about games that I could play with the animals. Like we can play Hyde Regan's hat or Hyde Regan's clothes, and we can then just play around, and sometimes we can build things. And sometimes I will build a pillow fort. And with the pillow fort, the bear then will step all over and crush it all. And then I say, I say, Mr. Winter Snow, why have you done that? Why have you done that? Why have you ruined my pillow fort? And he goes, Rawr. But he was playing with me because he was lost because he could not find me. And he was very concerned because he did not know where I was because I'm a very good hider in a pillow fort. And then I can take a sheet and then I walk around and I try and scare Ragan by going, Ooh. And it does not do it. And he just says, Bar. Bar. Take that coat wave. He just does that to me. But we have lots of fun in my home. That is what I do when I am by myself. Have you tried making Ragan sing Dale? Hmm. I do not think he would be a good singer. I shall do that. Perhaps he will do it this way, though. Dale. That is how he talks. I have a feeling, given the chance, he uh, he might actually have a pretty good singing voice. 
I shall ask him. Maybe one night when we're all gathered, he can sing for us. Oh, yes. I'm sure he would like to do that with me. I had dreams once of being in a city and being a terrible actor in the city and doing something called karaoke in the city. I think the city was called Los Santos. I do not remember. I do not. That, that memory, though, that may still be out there. I do not know if it is still out there, but if it is, that is not a good memory because that was just me. That was just that person being very silly. So it did not come out as well as perhaps I could have sang because because I was being the bad actor that can't do anything. It was a very there strange is dream. wrong with being silly. Yes. Oh, I am normally very serious. Well, I know I have dreams sometimes of singing with people far away and making friends with those far away folk. Oh, it is okay. So when you just need to talk to them, you just yell like this. You say, hello, hello friends. friends. And then they answer you back and you can talk to them. Sometimes it works like that, but sadly, that dream's going away soon. Oh. So I don't know quite what I will do. Oh, then you must use this voice. Thank you for calling. May I help you? Yes, just use that voice then. I don't think that dream and, and singing would go well together. Hmm. Yes, maybe you should do this. Thank you for calling. May I help you? See, then you've done both. I can only imagine the reaction of those in charge if they hear that. Well, it was better than saying corporate accounts payable speak me speaking just a moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've had dreams of being accounts payable and accounts receivable and receptionist. I've had very busy dreams. Those must be quite some tales. For other times. I am looking. I cannot go on a long journey today. I've woken up too late. That's not fun. Sorry, I just want to try and get one or two things put away while I'm thinking about it. Yes. Well, I have quite a bit. Yes, please do. Oh, man. I can't believe it's 11 o'clock already. Jesus, man. So tell me more of your times before you came to this land. Oh, even when I met Regan and Alita. Or my family. Oh, Regan is my family. There were many weird things when I first met Regan. We were in different lands. I do not know how we even got here. I came across them. And they took me in their home. I told them I was a mighty gatherer, and I helped gather items. And we lived in the desert for quite some time before moving to the jungle. And then when we moved in the jungle, I had a diving board. And I was always wake up in the morning and go and go for a dive. I would blow my horns and then dive and get wet. And I would come out and be ready for the day. A diving board sounds lovely. Yes. Kept me very active. It was part of my wake-up routine. There were many other people there. I went to the north and I brought these... I met these people up there that were my friends, but then they told me they were not my friends, but I brought them cookies. But Nalita and Ragan said, do not go up there. It is not safe. I do not know why I had brought them cookies. Who would not want cookies?
And then we tried to put a lion, and the lion was trying to sleep tonight. And it was in the jungle. And then all of a sudden, the, me the man that they said was mean was chasing after us. But hey, maybe he just had a bad cookie. Maybe he needed more cookies. I do not know. And then Alita was gone, and I thought she was gone, but she was okay. And then there was my brother Bear. My brother Bear would show me things. We got grumpy with Brother Bear often. I think they both wanted me to stay at their homes. That is, must be why. They both wanted to keep me. Because I am so good and such a good protector. There were many other people. They were not normal well, like I me. I know you are very, very special. Yes, they were all weird. I am the normal one out of that group. How were they weird? Oh, I do not know. They just did many things. They would grumble. They would Gucci would cross his arms all the time. And then all of a sudden, all the time, he was with Kuki and and they were they were they were they were mating all the time, I think. Then they would not explain what that was. And I think Ragan wanted to mount people, but I do not know. He would not tell me. And all I wanted to know is if he was mounting somebody for me to know so I could see it, so I could understand it. And then there were parties and I danced a lot. And I would dance and entertain because I'm a good dancer. And then there were sounds in the sky. Like here, what is that? It's okay now. But I would dance and entertain. Lands are strange. Yes, and then I would go home. And I would go home and sleep with all of my animals. And I was in my own room. Ragan, Ragan likes sleeping with me, but he told me to sleep in my own room once in a while. But I think he would sneak in and snuggle with me once in a while. I'm pretty sure of that. There were many other people I had met there. They were all my friends. And then one day, I laid down with Nalita. I laid on her roof so she could watch me sleep. It was a glass roof, and I laid upon it, up top. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was here. I did not know how I got here. I did not know where my old home is. But fortunately, Ragan was here. Ragan came with me. Well, I'm glad you were able to find a friendly face here. Yes. And then we met you, and you were fine. And you were friendly and nice. And there's Gooch. I'm not sure what to think about Gooch. But he has not hurt me. Then we met Captain Tallywhacker. I met him. And there's the Ghani Bird. There was Ghani Bird and Rock. The Rock does not have a brother and sister named Paper Scissors. I learned that in the other lands. But I do not know. Maybe the bird ate Ghani. Maybe that's why the bird sounds like Ghani. Maybe. These lands are quite different. We did not have things. We had sandstorms, but we did not have things pop out of the sky like that. We did not have sky penises in our other land. I do not think I want to be hit by a sky penis. Doesn't sound like much fun. No. It looks very angry, too. Perhaps it is unable to mate, and that is why it is angry.
I will try and ask it sometime. There have also been people falling from the sky here. Have you seen that? I do not understand that. I have seen that, and I've looked up, and I've seen these different lands. They look very much like desert. I used to live near a desert. I'm wondering if that is how I got here. I do not remember falling from the sky. And my bones are all working. I did not break anything. I'm wondering maybe that is what happened. Definitely curious. I know what happened. If I did fall from the sky, I know why I was not harmed. I probably landed on Ragan. Much like you did when we scaled the cliff a couple nights ago. Yes. I try and not go above Ragan in the rocks. He looks up my. He used to look up my skirt and my old outfit that I used to wear. I did not always have my panties on. It is very peaceful here. Oh, man, I can't believe what time it is already, man. I know it's going to be a short stream tonight, unfortunately. I have things to well, get done. I enjoy being right here, being close to wood, uh, woods and the water and just the view. Yeah, it may not nice. be the view you have from your treehouse, but it is one that makes me happy. This is very nice here. This is a wonderful home. I do not know if I would want to hear the water all day. Can you hear the water from where you sleep? Lately, I've been hearing my camel at night because, mm. well, he gets loud and obnoxious. Mm, perhaps because you were not snuggling with it. Possibly. Yes, it just wants to be snuggled with. But oh. I also enjoy being here because it reminds me of a place in my head. Oh. And sometimes I have friends come to visit. Yes. Apparently. You have a friend. Hello, friend. It was nice visiting you. Perhaps you needed a cup of sugar. Possibly, except my sugar is all inside. Hmm. Come back soon. It was nice meeting you. I have been up to that tower near your home. There used to be a giant fire there, it appears. But it cannot be lit. I know I've seen a few others of uh, other of those towers in my travels as well. Hmm. I'm not sure why they exist, but they are definitely interesting. They certainly do not work well with all these ships that are broken. I'm wondering what is out there. If people drop from the sky onto these lands, what is beyond the water? Perhaps there is a dolphin out there and I can bring a dolphin back to my home. Not sure how well that would work. Hmm. I would just go talk to him and I would go ee, 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 ee. That is dolphin speak for come live in my home Just make sure you use the right dialect Yes 
I will study up on Dolphin. I bet you I can learn the language, unlike Regan, who learned the language and did not understand the language he learned. But he is not that intelligent, I don't think. Not everybody can be as smart as I am. I did find another dictionary if you're interested in it. I <gasps> learned the language as well. You were finding dictionaries? That's how they've been teaching the language. I've never heard of such a thing. I've been left in that tower over there. They were in the tower? They've been hiding in the tower and I have another I have an extra one. So it's the third one I've found. All the same language. There only seems to be one language that gets dropped off up there. But hmm. I do have another if you wish to join the language club. Oh yes, is it the Kawabunga language? Or the Ooga Booga Dooga? <laughs> Sadly not. Hmm. Is it a high bitty deputy? If it was any of those, I already know them. It is the same language that Regan and I know, so I'd be happy to pass on the oh, knowledge to you yes. as well. And that way I can test Regan, since he obviously pretends like he read the book, but did not. <laughs> well, I know I have to head in soon, because I have a few things that need to go inside for, my, for what I picked up. I must go home and slumber but... soon anyway, unfortunately. Well, here, let's go ahead and do this, because you actually haven't seen the inside of my house, so... I'm I have not. I'm putting the rest of the stuff away later. Yes, let me see. Uh, apparently. Apparently this guy does not want me to go in. It got angry. Oh, there is a sign here. And a bench. I have not seen this. I used to have a sign that I was able to tell a bunch of th Ooh. This is a very nice home. Downstairs is more functional than anything. And after our adventures, I started looking at these maps that I've found around and still I'm quite confused about these mm. lands. I'm wondering if they tell you where my old home was. It is okay, Mr. Camel. She will snuggle with you later. Oh, he says he is excited about that. But apparently this guy does not agree. Yes. Oh, look, you can see. Yes, no windows. May I see upstairs? Feel free. Up. This is a very nice home. Has Regan seen it? He was in once before, before I did more of the decorations upstairs. Perhaps he could get some pointers and actually make something in our home. You have done a very nice job. Thank you. I'm very happy with how it's all turned out. And actually, let's go ahead and go upstairs because I know I have some honey because it's all. Oh, yes, honey, let's go! Upstairs. I will not let the beast eat it this time. They will not eat the honey. Time, time, time. I hate that. Oh, yes. I used to have bees in my room. Regan and Alita did not understand it. I do not know why they did not understand it.
Oh my, thank you so much. I will put it all over Ragan. That way he will not fall out of bed. If you do that, just don't tell him where you got it from. Oh, I will not. He knows I am friends but with he the might bees. Know. Well, you even have a nice chair right here. This is very nice. Sometimes it's nice just to sit outside and actually last time I was sitting on that chair I was turning gossamer into silk so having a view while I was working actually was quite pleasant. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Regan must get to work. Our home is not as nice. I will have to watch over him and keep him up to task. Well, in the times I've been alone, that's been the perfect time to just go back and forth and create. Yes. I do not know what Brigand does with his free time. Besides sitting in garages. Oh, I dream of yarn in my free time. Mm. For my free time. I believe it helps keep me sane. <laughs> yes. I dream of a bunch of children not knocking on my door locked out of their rooms. It cannot let me be. I do not know why. Blessing and curse of that type of power. <laughs> yes. I never knew the day would come that in my dreams that I would live with hundred teenagers and have over 20 of them in a building with me. That is not a dream I envy. <laughs> yes. I do not know how I do it. Very carefully. Yes. I am sorry we were not able to adventure. That's quite all right. We don't need to adventure every single time. Sometimes yes. just getting to stand around and talk is nice. Yes. I must go home and slumber. Well, I'll walk back out front with you just because... I can go back around to the back, finish emptying pockets for out there, and then empty pockets in here for tonight. I can't find the dictionary unless I moved in one other spot. It is okay. Ragan probably lost it. That is interesting. You just did the, the electric slide in front of me. Now you're fine. I've been known to float in my house. Yes. Oh, yes, that is a problem sometimes. I remember that in my old home. I will read the dictionary another time. Well, next time I find it, if I see you, I will make sure that I pass it on to you. And thank you. I'm glad we were able to, to talk and visit. I am, too, and I enjoyed hearing stories of your former home. Yes, and I must go home and burn those pirate clothes that that Ragan is worn. I do not know how he fits in those. Thank you. Winter, have a good day. I should go home and put my doggy back. And when I will put the doggy, I will make sure he's right near Ragan so we can then slobber all over Ragan and give him kisses. And maybe that Regan will make him smile. We can hope. Yes. I will give it some water first to make sure it has plenty of water so it's extra slobbery. That sounds like a plan. Yes. But if you ever stop by and if it says I'm out, you can always sit on the bench and wait for me to arrive. Yes, I will do that. Now, if it says I'm asleep, well... Either then I, will... I am asleep or I'm silly and I forgot to change my sign. Then I will just bang on this door.
You need a horn. That's what you need. Considering my bed is right underneath, or my bed's right above the door, I would definitely hear that. Yes. Or place a horn. Place one here, and place one here, and place one here. And if you have lots of horns, and then there, people can blow horns. I'll have to think about that. Yes. Enjoy your day. I shall go put the doggy in before I slumber. Thank you, Winter. This was fun. Goodbye. Oh, Safe I am right here. Back home. Yes. <laughs> I shall run home. I am fast. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Be fast like the wind, and I will talk with you later, my friend. Yes. Goodbye. That was good. It's only, we only got an hour and a half in, unfortunately. But... I've been going to bed too late past couple nights. Sorry, dog. I'm not playing. Let's get us home. It was a good time. It was just nice just to interact. Uh, I still think I was kind of being... Hey! I think I was kind of being nice bar. I didn't go overboard. Overboard bar. Uh, with, uh, with Tracy. But that was fun. She certainly can handle full-on bar. Man, a damn cloud. We had a little bit of emotion there. We talked a little bit about our own lands and kind of about my family kicking me out. You know, some of that sad bar stuff. But, um, no, we don't need to watch me running home. Let's do this. Hold on. While I'm doing that. But, um, oh, that way you can't hear me getting attacked. Uh, oh, no, that's not my home. That's the other home. So that was a good time um yeah tracy thanks yeah that I, it was a good time just uh, interacting and uh i gave you some uh some emotional bar like slightly there but uh it was a good time um and nice just hanging out getting to talk to bar bar talking to winter and getting to know winter better and now i can put my dog well i can't sit like that with this light i gotta fix my lighting because when i go up here i just get ghosty I can always remember that when I'm sitting and sit back. But uh yeah, I had a really good time. And um you know, I plan on uh oh thanks Tracy, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was a good time. And uh you know, talking about my my uh children and parents and stuff. My dreams of that. What's the elevator up? You know, I get in the habit, like, I'm not even on right now because I'm just in this just chatting while I'm walking home. And in bar mode, I'm almost ready with the elevator to say, up! Which is just crazy. No, no, it doesn't always have to be adventures. Not at all. With bar, it's actually a liability to be on an adventure with him. Because most of the time, I let you guys just take everything out. I just stand back there and... You know, um... Get out of the way. That's pretty much what I do. But um I'm probably probably gonna be on a lot this weekend. I, I still I might play was that Phasmophobia or whatever everybody's playing with Rooster because I kind of hinted I might and then he sent me a Steam message saying, I thought we were gonna play tonight. Um so I might be doing that this weekend. Uh maybe some more Conan. GTA, I'm uh Kind of in the middle of not knowing what city I'm going to be in. Oh, yeah, you did not cause that one. I, I That beast would not leave me alone. And I was getting hurt. And I didn't want to run too far because then I couldn't figure it. And he just got me. Yeah, that one was not you. I kept my distance from you that night. Because <laughs> that blade of yours is tough. But uh, I hopefully will be on a lot more. Um, obviously my work has calmed down enough that I can now kind of not have to be available all the time like I was for that stretch. So we'll keep streams coming. We'll have more Conan with Bar, um, driving Regan crazy and, and hanging out with Winter and everything and other things coming up. But, um, thanks for watching and, uh, have a good night. Thanks, Tracy.